If you can't figure out what that guy from the rooftops is screaming, it's most likely the immortal words, Mortal Kombat. That's because work on Mortal Kombat 2, the sequel to the smash hit video game adaptation from 2021, is finally getting underway. So without further ado, here's everything you need to know about the Mortal Kombat 2 cast, crew, production status, and everything else we know so far. Well, let's get started. Until recently, video game adaptations were among the most despised and infamous films. Fans despised the games, and movie studios were terrified of them because they almost always ended up being box office flops. These attitudes have since shifted with the success of hit adaptations such as the Super Mario Bros. movie and The Last of Us, but long before those proved the genre's viability, there was one outlier that proved good video game movies could be made. That film was the perplexingly unrated Mortal Kombat 1995, which brought the infamous yet beloved fighting game series to life in spectacular fashion. The huge financial success of the original Mortal Kombat film in 1995 ensured a sequel, and we got it two years later with Mortal Kombat Annihilation, which had all the camp but none of the charm of the first. It bombed spectacularly, and since then, we've mostly gotten animated films to fill the void, not to mention the still-running video games. Despite this, fans of the genre yearn for a modern, bloody, R-rated action film set in the Mortal Kombat universe, which we finally got with Mortal Kombat 2021. While not the cult classic that the original was, the 2021 film finally delivered on the long-awaited grit and gore and served as a solid start to a promising franchise, one that is set to continue with Mortal Kombat 2. The sequel is gradually ramping up production in order to bring the Mortal Kombat tournament back to life. Here's everything we know about Mortal Kombat 2 so far, including the cast, crew, production status, and other details. When and where will Mortal Kombat 2 be released? Warner Brothers has yet to announce a release date for Mortal Kombat 2, so we'll have to be patient and wait to see when we'll be able to see the franchise's absurd and over-the-top fatalities in live action once more. It's difficult to predict what format Mortal Kombat 2 will be released in, owing to the 2021 film's use of a novel release strategy devised by Warner Brothers and HBO Max. 2021 was a year when the world was still reeling from the effects of the ongoing global pandemic, but movie theaters were slowly but steadily reopening. As a result, Warner Brothers decided to release some of their projects on HBO Max, as well as in theaters on the same day during this time period. Blockbuster films like Godzilla vs. Kong, Space Jam, A New Legacy, and Mortal Kombat were among them. Mortal Kombat benefited greatly from this strategy, as the game became a huge success on both fronts. Not only did it receive a large number of views on HBO Max, but it also performed surprisingly well at the box office despite the ongoing pandemic. So Mortal Kombat 2 could go either way, as a theatrical release and or a streaming release are both viable options for the franchise. Even if Mortal Kombat 2 does not debut on streaming, it will almost certainly be released on the newly rebranded Max soon after a theatrical run. Is a trailer for Mortal Kombat 2 available? Mortal Kombat 2 is still in its early stages of development, with casting only recently getting underway. With no scenes currently being shot, it will be quite some time before we hear someone yell, finish them, once more. While you wait, you can watch the first film's trailer to get a taste of the series' gritty fighting action, the Green Band one at least. When will Mortal Kombat 2 begin production? Normally, we could estimate when upcoming films would begin filming, but given the industry's current state, that has proven difficult. At the time of this writing, Hollywood is in the midst of a historic writer strike, with screenwriters across the industry protesting for fair pay. Many projects have been put on indefinite hold as a result of the strike, including the final season of Stranger Things, so Mortal Kombat 2 may face similar production issues. Who are the Mortal Kombat 2 cast members? Tati Gabrielle and Adeline Rudolph will reprise their roles as Jade and Princess Katana in the Mortal Kombat sequel. Alums of the Chilling Adventures of Sabrina play two well-known Mortal Kombat characters. Jade is Katana's bodyguard, and both made their first appearances in Mortal Kombat 2. According to reports, the boy star Carl Urban is in final negotiations to join the cast of Mortal Kombat 2, as a character who was noticeably absent in the previous film. Urban is reportedly in negotiations to play Johnny Cage, the vain actor turned smack-talking hero who has been a staple of the franchise since the first game. We also know that Joe Taslim's contract includes the possibility of four more Mortal Kombat sequels. While casting is still underway, many of the cast members from the first film are expected to return. Louis Tan as Cole Young, Jessica McNamee as Sonya Blade, McCod Brooks as Jax, 
Tadanobu Asano as Raiden, Hiroyuki Sanada as Scorpion, Chin Han as Shang Tsung, Ludi Lin as Liu Kang, and Joe Taslim as Sub-Zero, or his character's undead counterpart, Noob Sabot, are all expected to return. Who is responsible for Mortal Kombat 2? After making his feature directorial debut with the previous film, Simon McQuoid will return to the director's chair for Mortal Kombat 2. Moon Knight screenwriter Jeremy Slater has been hired to pen the script. What has so far happened in the Mortal Kombat story? The first Mortal Kombat film, released in 2021, focuses primarily on Cole Young, an original character who isn't from the games and spends much of his career aspiring to be a professional MMA fighter. Cole was also born with a dragon birthmark, and when he meets a special forces agent named Sonya Blade, Cole finds out that he's been chosen for the Mortal Kombat tournament. The Mortal Kombat tournament is a centuries-old tradition that pits the best Earthrealm warriors against the monstrous conquerors of the Outworld. If Earth triumphs, they will be safe from the forces of the Outworld. If they lose, Outworld claims the right to invade and conquer Earth. Earthrealm denizens with the Dragon Mark are chosen to compete in the tournament on Earthrealm's behalf, and Cole is not the only one. His companion, Sonya Blade, her partner Jax, and the foul-mouthed arms dealer, Kano, join him. The mark they bear also grants them a unique superpower, but how to use it is unknown. They train in a secluded dojo under the tutelage of the Thunder God Raiden, as well as Shaolin monks Liu Kang and Kung Lao. Kano eventually betrays the group, and Emperor Shang Tsung kills Kung Lao, but they are able to defeat the Outworld Emperor's champions. This includes the most fearsome Outworld warrior, Sub-Zero, who is slaughtered by the vengeful deity Hanzo Hasashi, better known as Scorpion, Cole's ancient ancestor. As we see a mysterious black smoke absorb the killed Outworld combatants, Shang Tsung vows vengeance on the Earthrealm heroes, knowing he has been defeated. The Mortal Kombat franchise is no stranger to resurrecting characters, particularly the original Sub-Zero, who is resurrected as the undead revenant Noob Sabot. The film concludes with Cole setting out to find more Earthrealm champions before the inevitable Mortal Kombat tournament, with the implied assumption that his first subject will be actor Johnny Cage. Well, that's it. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views and opinions in the comments section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest news and reviews on upcoming movies from us. And do not forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you at the next one.